Alright guys, I guess this is my first time recording as a commentary video for Destroyer Guidelines. So my name is Kenichi Shamishijin, but that's my in-game name, alright? So, what we have on here is the Imperial Japanese Navy uh, Yugumo. Uh, currently, she's my uh, serving as a tier 9 destroyer. Uh, she's doing quite well, I would say. Uh, but it's just that when you purchase her, uh, there will be a slightly problem when she's a default, which is a stock ship, as her performance will be quite under power than the Pedro and Akatsuki. Well, let's see the Yugumo. Yugumo. Uh, alright. For my Yugumo, currently she almost. Uh, going to be an elite ship soon so as for her stock uh, it will be quite a painful for her to play as her max speed is 35 knots i would say the uh, quite worse as it's for her and for her turning rate is also quite i mean her steering is also quite uh cmi uh very cancer hard to turn as well so it's, we are having a hard time to dodging shells and also torpedoes I would say and as for her guns, uh, her guns are not bad, uh, it's a decent the HP damage is uh, 396 uh, as for her stock, this one I would say is, is quite decent and the AP are the best, the AP are the best uh, how to say, the, okay, the AP are the best to take out the enemy defense I always use AP for that Alright, here's come the main the main the main star torpedo tube. So her as you can see her torpedo tube is 67.50 seconds which equivalent to 68 seconds reloading per salvo of 8 torpedo uh 10 torpedo. Okay, so. No, it's not 10, 8 torpedoes, sorry, 8 torpedoes. Alright, so, uh, her torpedo cubes, uh, the damage are quite, quite, uh, decent for a, a, a stock destroyer as well. She's able to, she's able to take some punch on the enemy, uh, towards enemy ships, such as the Corrado, Nagato, North Carolina, the Ijin, uh, and the Amagi for stock destroyer. But if she were to take down the tier 9 battleship such as Izumo and the Aowa, it will be having a hard problem to for her to uh, solo it. So I won't suggest you to solo a tier 9 when your defense is Alright, so her MD aircraft armament is quite decent as well. Uh, as, much we, as much we all know that low tier triple A's are quite useless. Uh, it, it won't take down enemy aircraft. However, when you approach him to mid tier and high tier, the triple A's, uh, I would say, is quite decent. You will be able to take some aircraft down. As for her, I only mm -hmm. able to take down one, one to two aircraft only. Or depend. Alright, so let's back to the torpedo tubes. Alright, so the torpedo, the torpedo tubes for her stock should be 9.20 km. But however, when you uh, sort of upgrading and purchase, um, me upgrading and uh, the booking, uh, you will uh, increase the torpedo range as well. So right now, my torpedo range is 10.61 km. And for my consumer, it's 5.26 km. Just mean that. When I drop my torpedoes, the enemy battleships or the trials can't see me. Uh, I mean the cruisers can't see me. Unless there's a enemy carrier sending planes or OH, uh, send, send, send the planes to uh, try and overhead me or the enemy destroyers detected me. If not, I can't be seen all at this range. Alright, so, get to armory. The best thing is, the camouflage is up to you guys whether to purchase it. For me, I decided to purchase the uh, 
he stays there, can the fight be passed, I feel it is more worth it, and yeah, but as for the blueprint right, the most important thing is to upgrade the torpedoes, because the torpedoes are the most important in your ship to take down an, uh, the enemy ship. As for the how many guns, uh, not much difference, there is no difference at all. And the air defense, I don't think we much in the also. And the fire control is the F the the F F C S the uh, the range the range of your guns to fire. Well, not much important, but just the and the how because the how will increase the armor also. Yeah. So let's go to one game and let's play, shall we? Oh, that's right. Too high. Let's go to one game and solo. Alright, so there's a few tips for a destroyer. Firstly, destroyers are meant to be destroyers. As World of Warship Bleed is different from World of Warship PC Edition. So, in PC Edition, you will get to. Uh, let's not get to hunt. You won't hunt sub, but you hunt destroyers. But as in here, you don't hunt destroyers, but ew, you hunt destroyers. But the most important for the is you capture the base. Capturing the base in more Washi Blitz is the most important strategic gameplay because whoever get the base will most likely will be able to win with points. Where you will met a certain situations where your team uh or something gets some not get some. At least once you alive. Or at maybe uh you uh let's say it's going to be a tie but when you so uh you your team uh, got all the base and you got my points that's a situation all right uh so what we have here domination and the map is called the atlantic all right so basically this this atlantic map uh i will i i won't say i hate this map but this map is kind of big it's a big map for a high t uh for the high tier so whoever been complaining about the map is small please play the atlantic and see for yourself and as you can see the atlantic mostly is like a Battle starts. so it's split into uh, alpha bravo charlie and where i will be spawned at charlie mostly uh opposite team will spawn at charlie and the enemy team will spawn at the opposite side here so I guess I will suppose met uh enemy destroyers or cruisers. So prepare my AP shells. As all right, here's a tip: if you are using a destroyer and you're going to engage the destroyer, enemy destroyer, always use the AP shell. That's the most effective way. Because when I compare the HD damage and the AP damage, AP damage uh do the most damage than HD ever towards the enemy destroyer. However, Enemy target spotted. Towards other ships, such as uh, cruisers, battleships, and carrier, using HG is the best solution. However, to destroyers, it's AP. Uh, okay, so we have here. Uh, we have uh, which is uh, SP. Engine boost activated. So for engine, uh, the engine our team captured the area. And quickly, uh, left and left and right. The situation is under control. Quickly, uh, hard. Our team captured the area. Uh, 
you have chances of evading the dive bombers if you have boosters on. High chance only, I would say. We hit the enemy! Connection problem. Oh. Alright, connection problem, huh? Connection problem. Sorry for the inconvenience. And so we have a Vegeta still alive right here. And I shall sunk. Oh! And I shall sunk it down. Engine boost activated. He is turning. Oh wait, he's turning right left. Let me see. Alright, he's coming on the left side. Yeah. Locked on! Nice, coming left. So, Wichita is a tier 8 American heavy dish, uh, cruiser. Which is after the New Orleans, you'll get the Wichita if you unlock. How come my connection? Oh my god. The area. Oh my god. So I got hurt. I got my ship. I mean, I got, I mean, I got damage. So I use the repair. And now we're taking an Amagi and two. Something's wrong. Oh my god. What the fuck? So we lost. The buggy is that? Uh, he's going. To... Engine boost activated. So. Okay, what is she coming down? Ah, never mind. Never mind. All right. So let's go ahead. Tier eight U.S. American. Alright. Oh my god. Oi, why is someone here? Wait, what the f oi? Our team is about to win! And we won. I won't say it's a good gameplay since my connection got a little bit problem. I'm very sorry on that guys. Three times I have connection issues. But I guess it's my latency issues, it's not the game issues, so I will check on it later. Okay, so once you finish a game, you will go to the results where I did 72,000 damage. Ship destroyed, uh, 3 ship sunk, and I can see the performance of 14 torpedo hits. Um, to capture one, I caused one flooding, I set one fire, and my shells is uh, 24 main battery hits. Alright.
so here it split down the damage and as for some kids they say they can't see how much their uh, credit is breaking now press this on Minecraft and you will see the credit breaking now so the servicing cost is 5500 since I got that pretty bad pretty much badly damage yep Okay. I need to pause for a while guys Alright, back to me One more gameplay, let's uh, one more before I can play, let's see, play better and solo. So, here's a few tips for you guys as a defy gameplay. Your job as a defy commander, your job is to capture the enemy base, that's the most priority. And taking out the enemy defy is always the number one priority in your game. And if you do happen to see a real enemy play, uh, player base, which is a real enemy player, not an AI or the boat, quickly take it down first. That's the most priority. Doesn't that doesn't care if he is he or she is using the destroyer, cruiser, battleship, or the carrier. Always take down the enemy real player base. As you may not know that he or she will sunk your own ally team. And for the cruiser, I will not say it's the most priority, but it depends on the way of the target. Where if you met the destroyer on the way where you're going, uh, you're going to cap a base or taking out a battleship, taking out a cruiser is always the best, uh, the, uh, the best idea first. As for battleships, I, w uh, uh, I would suggest that uh, using your torpedo range to do that since the Imperial Japanese Navy destroyers are superiority in their torpedo range and uh, able to shoot very, uh, firing from very far range within in the consumer range and going yoloing with the trial is always not the best solution unless you're like me where I could survive but not always Action stations. and as for the carrier is right for the carrier is very tricky so for the AI carrier they are able to detect you within uh, 7 to 8 km so if you uh, sort of let's say that if you uh, met a AI carrier and you uh, reach it within like 6 to 7 km the AI carrier will start to move away from you but and if you happen to like fire uh, met him like 9 km to 10 km or at least 8 something the AI carrier will not move but just sitting down there like sitting the target and letting you torpedo it uh, that's where I find enemy target spotted because the carrier should move oh no the carrier should not even move when you are within 6 kilometers since your detection range is 5 points up but I guess that's the that's points the OP tier 10 enemy American heavy cruiser okay, so it zoom Turning right, bro. Situation is under control. Turning up. Zoom. 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 
squad. We hit the enemy! Our team captured the area. And she stopped. We destroyed an enemy ship. And there's a Yugumo changing to AP shells. We should see the enemy do more. Oh, maybe oh, I got lost my battleship. Enemy do more and the Montenite. On setting on fire. And we have enemy team captured the area. We have battleship left. And there goes the more. Yep. All right, so let's get back to port. So, okay, I have a lot of destroyers. I got the Akatsuki, the Fubuki, Kagero, Campbelltown, Kamikaze, Isukaze, Musuki, and Watakaki. So basically, all my ships are fully equipped and upgraded to the building. Kamikaze is the best human survival destroyer ever. Uh, I won't say it's a decent one, but at least it's still able to pack a punch on the tier 5. As for the Fubuki, it's the best tier 6 destroyer ever. However, it just is quite slow and it's, hard, it's quite hard to turn, but it's a, still a decent destroyer. As for the Akatsuki, it's the best tier 7 destroyer. It's a 30, uh, the speed is 39 knots. And the destroyer and the torpedo uh, will work quite fast also. Well, yep. That's what I would say. And when you play a destroyer, it's imperative that you find human. This is this. Yeah, let's see. There you go. This one. Torpedo tube modification one. As you will need this. Wait, wait sorry, no, no, it's not here. I need this. Torpedo, torpedo tube modification 2 where you will need the torpedo tube will come and survivability for torpedoes to really more fast and to survive it when you're taking hits from the enemy uh, destroyers, cruisers or the battleship itself so uh, time, timing is the uh, strategy where you need to keep track on the timing and the second one will be for me. I I will choose the death protection modification one, since the shires are quite weak and they don't have armor, and they are uh, prone to be getting hit by enemy HE shells. So, uh, ha having a fire on your setting on your destroyer is always the high possible high chance. So, I purchasing this. I have the low chances of getting my destroyer being set on fire which is quite true and it and we won the game yep and the last one will be the consumer system modification one where your surf you will uh surface detection is minus 10 percent as when you purchase this one uh the consumer range on here it will decrease that mean that the more decrease, the, the more the lower of the consumer, the more harder the enemy to detect you easily. And I guess that's all for my Detroit gameplay. And I think that's all. And I will make a Detroit gameplay a wiki, wiki guide soon. And that's all for me. See you on the next time. Bye bye. Sign up.